So today we are going to be talking about batteries. So let's go through the definition of a battery. What actually is a battery? A battery is an energy storage device that stores the converted electrical energy uh, in form of ions. There are lots of types of batteries like lithium ion, lithium polymer, nickel cadmium, nickel metal hydrate and like lead acid batteries and so on and so forth. So we have used uh, nickel uh, cadmium and nickel metal hydride. Uh, these batteries are basically not very good although they have been used for quite a while but the problem with them is that that uh, they had memory effect which means that you had to discharge the battery all the way down to zero percent just so you could get the full capacity of the battery that was the major downside of that battery and coming forward uh, we have uh, uh, lead acid batteries which we still use to the date but it's sl slowly uh, uh, like people are adapting newer types of technologies like gel uh, type batteries and lithium ion batteries lithium ion batteries come in major like uh, in a lot of shapes and sizes lithium ion batteries basically come in a lot of shapes and sizes like uh, this uh, uh, lithium pouch battery lipo battery uh, this pouch cell or these 18650 cells that you could see uh, if my camera captures it uh, like these ones uh, yeah this should be good enough like this one and these one uh, I've salvaged from dead laptop batteries uh, I'm gonna tell you about them in some other video why you could get very good batteries from a dead laptop battery so for now we just focus on the uh, advantages and other good stuff so basically these type of batteries are used in uh, like uh, as I stated uh, like in laptops mostly nowadays the manufacturers are adapting these pouch batteries of course this is a very small size battery like the capacity is not so big uh, like for larger capacities 95 watt hours 98 watt hours like huge capacities so yeah they're adapting these uh, types of batteries just for the like you could see that this uh, battery is very compact and in this one this is this battery is 47 watt hours and you could see like this battery has uh, three pairs of uh, cells in to six in total uh, and this one takes a lot of space uh, in comparison with this one like uh, for example the 100 watt hour batteries are roughly around this size like quite small and uh, like quite thin and which takes uh, less space and is very uh, good for like uh, the compact size of a laptop these batteries are majorly used in like a lot of electrical gadgets uh, like in your drill machine batteries and especially in electrical cars for example you could see that uh, you might all might have seen that these type of cylindrical 18650 cells you will always find these in uh, electrical cars because of their uh, like high energy density and because they are uh, cheaper than uh, po like pouch batteries as well and they're safer these cells are used in uh, uh, power walls as well for because of its high energy density and it's of a cheaper price nature and these batteries are uh, reliable as well although they are uh, these uh, batteries have their downside that lithium can be very dangerous as well if mishandled so coming to the pouch batteries like this one these batteries are used in more or less every uh, gadget that you use probably uh, uh, it's uh, in your laptop or your phone you're watching uh, this video in and you're uh, like pretty much every portable gadget uh, like modern as i stated earlier the uh, laptop manufacturers are adapting this uh, pouch battery uh, because like for like portability like to shrink the uh, laptop size and these are found in your power banks your phones and your laptops as well 
So uh, these are because of the high density. So let's talk about the advantages why uh, lithium ion batteries are widely used in industries. So the main advantage of lithium ion battery is the high energy density and there is no memory effect. Memory effect means like you don't have to discharge your battery like in older uh, batteries, like uh, older battery types that you had to discharge your battery uh, like down to 0%, uh, then charge it up to 100% to get the full capacity advantage of your battery. Uh, in lithium ion, that is not the case whatsoever. And you could use the battery at whatever percentage and you could charge it and discharge it, although it is recommended to use uh, the battery between 20% and 80% just to prolong your battery life. I'll talk about that later. Lithium ion batteries have a longer life due to their cycles. Like every battery uh, you use have uh, has its life cycles, for example, 800, 1000, 2000, and so on and so forth. That's why the industry is adapting lithium ion batteries for uh, consumer electronics, the portable gadgets. And as I stated earlier, lithium ion batteries are used in uh, electrical cars, power walls, and uh, whatnot. So I've stated earlier that uh, lithium ion batteries have uh, a lot of cycles as compared to other batteries because, and it has higher energy density, which prolongs the life cycle, the lifespan of your lithium ion battery. As you might have guessed that, after those cycles every battery is pretty much dead and it's not usable so yeah so we all have that concern that how do i prolong the uh, battery uh, life of my gadget or of my like uh, power wall or uh, my car or uh, what not so the first thing you want to do is keep your battery cool because uh, lithium ion batteries are highly sensitive to heat like uh, you should not put them in heat if they're put in heat then they will explode and you should definitely not short circuit them and keep them away from water and for example like uh, if accidentally you uh, happen to like uh, puncture them or uh, damage them any way and you accidentally put water on them then uh, lithium is basically uh, very reactive towards water and it will catch fire and uh, for that matter you should always use a suitable charger for your gadget because it's perfectly designed for their battery and your gadgets uh, to prolong the battery life if you want to prolong your battery life uh, you should keep your battery between 20 uh, percent and 80 percent it's because uh, you do not want to like the cycle completes like when the battery reaches 100% so when the battery reaches 100% that's one cycle be it uh, from 50 to 100% or 80 to 100% you just wasted that cycle so the more you keep that battery between 20 to 80% the more the battery would be good in good shape what I observed that uh, if you do this to your new battery for example your phone or your power bank especially uh, what you should do with the new battery uh, which is out of the box you can definitely use it out of the box like however you want to do either you want to drain it or you want to charge it or you want to just use it uh, however you want but the uh, thing that I found effective is that you should discharge the battery to zero percent and uh, charge it all the way to 100 percent and leave it for an hour and then discharge it to 0% and charge it to 100% and leave it for an hour and keep continue doing that cycle for like four or five times just so your phone learns the battery uh, pattern and then you could have the maximum capacity of your battery. One huge mistake we make for phones is we plug our phone overnight. Overnight charging is okay, like uh, there is charging circuitry involved that automatically basically the charging circuit disconnects the power from the battery but when the battery reaches to like if your battery is weak it cannot hold charge for long uh, let's say it's uh, whatever the uh, like 
whatever it is, whatever the reason may be, be it like when it reaches 90%, the phone system would just like charge it to 100% and the cycle will continue and this will ruin, ruin your battery. But because nowadays pretty much every phone has fast charging so you could basically charge your phone in uh, maybe less than an hour if at maximum cases like uh, maybe one and a half hour or two hours. So yeah, this is uh, how you prolong your phone battery life. And yeah, and I hope you learned something. If so, then like, share, and subscribe, and click on the notification bell. And I'll guess I'll see you in the next one. Peace.